Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Ileana here, and today in... Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Ileana here. Thank you guys for joining and tuning in and watching. In today's video, we are going to be doing a neutral eye look using the one and only Conspiracy palette. I'm super excited to show you guys that this palette is super like you can use it for any kind of look that you're going for whether it's a dramatic look a colorful look a neutral everyday look this palette has been my go-to palette ever since i bought it so i'm going to show you guys a more natural look because the last look that i did was a little bit more colorful so if you want to um see how i achieve that look then make sure that you keep on watching but before we get into today's video make sure that you subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time that I upload and make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up hey uh, mm. <laughs> make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and we will get started <laughs> Okay, so I zoomed you guys in just a little bit closer so you guys can take a little bit of a closer look. I went ahead and I primed my lids as always using my MAC um, paint pot in Soft Ochre. So we're gonna just dive right in. I already have the rest of my face. I have my lippy on and I know that my lips were looking a little crusty in that other video using the Conspiracy palette, but not today, girl, not today. We already have our nude lip on and we're just gonna dive right into it. So the first thing, um, let me open my palette. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be going in with, this is my favorite shade, guys. I, oh my God. I just like dug my nail into. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys really quick what the palette looks like, just in case you missed my other video, just in case you haven't seen the palette, just in case, I don't know. We're just gonna show it really quickly. Now this palette has been loved, keep that in mind, so. I'm going to dive into pretty much the top row here. These are more of the neutrals and then more of pop of color is on the middle section. And then the last row is pretty much just like um, hints of deeper tones. They're more on the cooler side. So I'm going to go ahead and stick to that first row that's up top. And I'm going to be diving into, this is my favorite shade in the entire palette. This is the Tanacon shade. Now I have tweeted about this shade. I have posted this shade everywhere. I think that this shade is so pretty. It's this one right here. Now this shade is just gorgeous. It is perfect for crease. It is perfect for just like on the go. You just want something quick in the crease and you're going to throw on a lash or a little wing liner. This shade is beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and dive into Tanacon and just throw that right onto the lid and just kind of start blending it out. What this shade does is it basically just creates a little bit of dimension into the eye. You can see that it's really, really soft, but it definitely gives the eye a lot of dimension. And this shade can also be used for so many things. I use this to contour my nose sometimes, to contour the cheekbones as a little bronzer because I'm so fair and light in skin tone that this shade is like perfect for so many things, not just eyeshadow, which is what I absolutely love. So I don't know what it is about every single time that I have to record, somebody has to like call and interrupt, but we're gonna move on. So I'm going to just add a little bit more of the Tanacon and really just blend it throughout the entire crease area. And if it drags down into and onto the lid, that's perfectly okay because we're gonna be going back anyways. So we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Okay, so another thing that I really like about this shade is that you can really just like lightly tap it in for a little bit of dimension or you can even keep adding on and it'll get a little bit deeper and deeper. But I'm gonna go ahead and dive into my uh, Diet Root Beer, which is right next to it. I did use both of these shades in my last look, but these two shades, I'm telling you, these are two of the shades that I've been using pretty much every single day. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just focus that on the outer corner and then just kind of drag it in just a little bit, just to kind of add a little deep, um, 
dimension in the outer corner. And whatever's left on my brush, and I'm even just using the same brush as I was before, but I'm gonna just grab whatever is left and just start dragging it towards the center of the eye. It's looking beautiful. So I really wanted to get this video out because um, I've seen a lot of people say that they didn't want the palette because of all the bright colors, because they weren't sure when they would use it. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't do a bright eye every single time I do my makeup, but this palette, I'm telling you, is so great because you can literally use it for so many things. It doesn't have to just be like a super crazy look. You can use it for day-to-day -day natural looks as well, which is what I'm doing today. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that, that it is possible to do so many things with this palette that it's just it blows my mind. That's what I absolutely love about it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to place a little bit of the pigment shade and then we're going to top it off with this like pink shimmer shade as well. Now this pigment shade is also such a beautiful blush shade. So very lightly, I don't want to like use too much of it, but we're going to just lightly tap that all throughout the lid. Like I said, we're trying to just keep this neutral and not go too crazy with it, but I just want the shimmer to have a little bit of that pink pigment underneath just to bring it out a little bit more. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. I'm gonna go back with the previous brush that I had and just kind of blend the uh, colors together. If I take off a little bit of that pigment shade, that is okay, because I'm gonna go over it with a shimmer anyways, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so right now we're looking like a cute little duvaline. <laughs> but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush just a little bit. And using that same brush but the other side, I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of the... This is just a Theory shade in the palette, which is this one right here. It has like a pink shimmer in it. And that's what I'm going to be using to pretty much go over the lid area. So it doesn't look as pink, but it does have a little bit of hint of pink in it from the pigment shade. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and grab a different brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Diet Root Beer shade. Now this is a Sigma E25 brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this right underneath the waterline. With a fluffier brush, I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into that ranch shade and just bring it right underneath the brow, the brow bone, just like that. So now that that is all set, all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and throw on some lashes and then the look will pretty much be done. But this is my natural look that I created using the one and only Conspiracy palette. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I wanted to do this video because I see a lot of people talking about the fact that they can't use this on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, this is a little bit more on the um, more glam natural side, but again, like I said, you can just throw in couple shades in your crease and call it a day and it will still look beautiful these shades are so stunning so versatile you can use them for so many things i use tanacon sometimes to contour my cheeks to contour the nose to throw it in the crease and just do like a little um lash and winged liner kind of situation but i'm telling you guys this palette is amazing totally worth the money and i just wanted to do something a little bit more natural this time using the palette and just showing off the palette because i know that that is what everybody is talking about right now so thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you stay tuned for my next video if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe to my videos or to my channel so you can watch my videos and i will see you guys next time ciao